Hello, buzz and calls. My name is Hansel C and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time our rocket has returned and now we need to unload it and we do this uh, with a bit of uh, wiring here and there and letters and then here we just drop everything out um. and then of course we can start to fill up the rocket again. Um, actually, we do not. Yeah, we would only need 700 kilos. So. Because that's the amount we need for the near tier so unreachable okay so what we will do instead is we will place uh, Gantry here and here, and then we can build up everything. And uh, once we're done, we can uh, pull it down again. So, um, we have enough seats so take nothing as we are also um, complete with uh, 22 duplicates all beds are occupied so yeah no need to worry there let's try to speed this process up here up a bit um, here, of course, dirt is a bit scarce, uh, but let's have a look at the, at the research. We're nearing the end here, and then we have one more research left to do. And... And let's have a look. Ooh, yeah. Here we have filled in quite a bit uh, of the of the storage tanks. Down here, all of them are full as well. So, who? Maybe these are not enough. Need even more. Um, how are we doing over here? Still no more progress with the wiring or the door. Um, I mean the the wiring here on this side that will go something like that. Then the, the pipe. Something like this. Um, 
the iron ore is being delivered. And it needs to be constructed. And there we see the stuff dropping out. Can deconstruct this gantry here. We should see fullerene and iso resin uh, that's what i care about then we can also deconstruct this one here and okay we cannot this deconstruct this one but we can pick it up from there um yeah, for the super current we're still missing petroleum. So we probably should get on with this here. should be able to create some some isolation what's the what's the going rate here um, 15 kilos of iso resin for 100 kilo of insulation uh, on top of uh, a bit of epsilent and uh, the reed fibers that we have quite a bit of and we get them from our directlet form down here so I do not particularly care about these two new items but about the ones that we construct out of them And once we can, we manage to uh, get to uh, to these asteroids, we will be off. But we will need at least 700 kilograms of oxalate in here. Probably a bit more, as we have more fuel stored in here, which adds weight. Um, so it's not totally balanced anymore. Okay. Ooh, something is produced here. Insulation, I care about. And these are probably located under certainly not edible not a filtration uh, medium it's not an industrial ingredient neither liquefiable nor liquid it's a manufactured ingredient so then let's have a look insulated pile uh, pipe And here we have insulation, but for one tile we need far 400 and we only created 300. Ok. 
Okay. Um, and let's... This one, and with that, we should be able to uh, get uh, petroleum so we can also manufacture uh, super coolant. How much? Almost 500. Super coolant, uh, we need one kilogram of full rain to produce 100 kilogram of super coolant. And the super coolant will go in here. And then we can actually make this bridge because, first, of course, we will uh, have. Uh, oxygen uh, liquefied which is easier uh, and we once we have the amount ready we can then switch from oxalite uh, in here to liquid oxygen or LOX for short um, uh, we already produced some. Surely no, no soup coolant yet. But we have four, five hundred kilograms of insulation. So. Let's create a few tiles here. And I think we will go one tile further out, uh, but probably only once we have filled in the uh, coolant in the loop on this side, so we no longer need the, the pipe here. So, how are we looking? Still a way to go. Um, I'm pumping in too much here, so maybe I should have the uh, the vent here on this level. Let's take sandstone because we have probably run out. Yeah, well, we have not yet run out of sandstone, but basically, it's not a, a renewable resource as we have dug out most of the sandstone on this map. Hopefully having it down here works as uh, I expect, so when it's fully submerged, it should be uh, blocked. How are we doing with the research still going on on here? Do we have 
have super coolant now. Yes. And we probably should have a switch on here. Just so we can control it a bit better. does not work as I expected, so what we will do is throw a switch here as well. Super cool this going in, going out, it's being cooled down. So now it's about zero degrees. This is even warmer. Okay. Now we are getting places, and as we uh, slowly are filling up the loop, it will slowly cool down. And once it gets down to uh, minus uh, 190, then we should be able to uh, actually pump in uh, oxygen um, to produce some liquid oxygen. But we have run out of uh, water, so we do not get any more oxygen out of it. And at least on here, now we really need to make some progress. Um, so let's. As it is, and here, Here all the interesting materials we have uh, used. And probably the material that we will be lacking the most is fullerene that we are needing here for the, for the pipe. Okay, we are getting down to minus 90. Very nice. So now it's really only a question of how fast we can get this built up here, uh, which I expect I will do between this episode and the next one. So we can start the next rocket in the next episode getting more things done so until then goodbye for now until next time